these film scoring projects have been really cool for us as a group because compositionally it's really expanded kind of what uh, the sphere of what we're comfortable doing. Hi, I'm Nick Hamill. I'm a sophomore at UT Austin studying violin performance under Professor Yamamoto. Hey everyone, my name is Carl Mitzi and I play the mandolin and the viola with Invoke and I also compose with them. We weren't exactly sure how to start at first, so we just kind of put the film up, turned the sound off, and just improvised to the whole thing. It was my first introduction to new music. Usually for new music you get like all the stereotypes where it could sound random or it doesn't seem calculated. but. I, I think that y'all managed to pull it off in a way that was fun for the performers and for the listeners. Our film scoring projects are super fun. We get to try out a lot of new things, a lot of new techniques that uh, you wouldn't expect a normal string quartet or even a conventional film composer to do. Y'all had us do a lot of effects on our instruments. Usually you move the bow left to right, but you had us move it away from us and towards us. I think that added chaos to the more chaotic parts of the movie, which was good. And it turned into a really cool, um, heavily improv-based, but still uh, organized product. And compositionally, that was, I think, a, 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 ra a bit of a feat for us. Our first film score that we did was for the Austin Chamber Music Center's Summer Festival here in Austin, Texas. And it was The Adventures of Prince Ahmed, which is the first in-color, silent cartoon film ever made. The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. I, I had never actually seen a movie that, was, that looked like that, and I definitely hadn't participated in any live music for a movie before. Uh, with the second project for Fantastic Planet, we even allowed ourselves more artistic freedom by incorporating more synthesizers, more electronics, going further afield with extra instruments. Nick involves, Nick uh, sometimes plays this <laughs> interesting Tuvan uh, horse head fiddle called the Egil. It's, a, it's got a really cool ethereal sound. We found that we were actually very fulfilled by scoring films and writing new music for movies that may, may or may not already have had music, but bringing our own voice to what these different films can be. One other thing that I really appreciate about our film scoring is we are able to actually include young musicians in it as well. One experience that I have vivid imagery of still is I, when I actually had a solo with, I think it was you, and I think it was just so cool to be able to play with a professional musician. We were able to actually play it with not only ourselves as the quartet, but also with a number of young artists that were participating in the high school summer festival. It broadens my spectrum of who I know, because that was my first like experience getting to know a resident quartet. I probably want to do chamber music in the future, so that was a good experience. If there are youth orchestras or young players available, we're able to integrate them into the whole project, which is something that is really fun and activating for me. Just as a whole, I had a lot of fun. I think the actual performance of it was fun because there was a certain edge of uncertainty. Honestly, that summer was a great introduction into the professional experience as a musician. Yeah, what else? What else should I say? How should I finish that? It's, uh... No, you have to finish. It's done.